Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, so this week's challenge is wedding planning. Uh, so in this tutorial, uh, we will discuss about uh, generating speech using AI. All right. So, um, you know, uh, wedding planning is stressful and it takes resources and time. Uh, so to manage uh, some of the tasks, we can use uh, AI. Uh, one of them would be uh, generating uh, speech for the different uh, parties in in the wedding. So we will see uh, an introduction and uh, the, the benefits of using AI for speech generation and how AI uh, generates uh, the, the speech. And uh, we will see some uh, tools and platforms that we can use uh, and best practices in uh, generating speech in general and the future of AI uh, in a speech generation. And finally, we will put a conclusion. Uh, so as you know, uh, AI is revolutionizing um, many aspects of our lives, including uh, generating contents like texts or images. Um, and particularly, we can prepare and deliver speech. Um, uh, am I audible? Oh, okay. Um, so uh, we can we can uh, generate wedding speeches that are uh, personalized, heartfelt, and memorable. Uh, that the audience or the groom or the bride wouldn't forget, right? Uh, we can uh, generate it and we can personalize it so that it can be. Uh, memorable. Um, so a well-crafted wedding speech can bring joy, laughter, tears, and make the event more uh, memorable, right? Uh, uh, however, the common challenge that people face in writing and delivering wedding speech uh, would include um, writer's block, uh, time, and also and uh, anxiety, right? So uh, we can use AI to help us uh, alleviate this uh, challenge, right? So why do we use AI for wedding speech, right? Uh, as I said earlier, planning a wedding involves uh, numerous tasks, right? Uh, and also resources, uh, including time. So delegating that speech writing to the AI uh, would significantly reduce uh, the uh, workload. That's why we need uh, AI. Uh, instead of spending days writing and refining a speech, um, the AI can uh, generate <coughs> the speech in seconds, right? Um, it might take you, I don't know, five minutes to finalize everything to generate uh, a speech for the groom or a speech for the, the father. Um, yeah, uh, the, the second one is uh, a stress reduction. Uh, the, the, the common fear uh, of public speaking can be uh, reduced um, if, you, if you prepare uh, a speech that's well crafted, uh, it will boost your confidence, right? And uh, you will deliver that speech confidently if you know that your uh, content is well crafted, right? So a nervous based man uh, can use AI to create a structured 
and coherent speech uh, that will boost his confidence. That, that's just an example, right? Uh, and the, the third one, why we can use AI is uh, for customization, right? So AI can, can incorporate unique and details and preferences, making each speech distinct uh, and memorable. Uh, you can uh, customize the, the speech uh, by telling the AI what kind of um, tone you will have, uh, etc. Right, including the specific uh, anecdotes about the couple's adventure together, or the uh, personal traits, or you can e even uh, ask to include jokes in the middle of the, the speech. So the AI will help us time to, to save time, to uh, reduce stress, and to customize uh, our speech. Um, the next one is how the AI generates, uh, in general, uh, any content. It's, it's, it's the same, um, the, the, the steps or the uh, requirements for the AI is the same for generating anything. Uh, in, in the case of uh, wedding, you, you just need to um, personalize it and specify what kind of a speech you want. So the, the first step in generating anything is uh, a data collection. The AI needs data, right? So for the, the wedding speech, you need to input uh, personal details, the names of the couples, their relationship history, memorable moments, etc. And then you set the uh, speaker's tone and style. That that would be uh, can it be formal or sentimental or humor. You you specify that. Those are uh, data for the AI, right? And also you can specify the structure. Uh, of your speech. You will have um, an introduction. That's the, the, the time where you greet and tr introduce uh, uh, yourself. And then you will have the body that those are the key points like personal stories, compliments, heartfelt messages, etc. What the groom and the bride like, ex those details, you, you put those in the body and then uh, your uh, conclusion. That means your best wish for uh, the couple's future and a closing statement. So having these structures in the data collection, the AI will use um, NL NLP, natural language processing models, uh, to generate the, the speech. So uh, AIs use advanced NLP models like GPT-4 uh, to generate human-like text. Right, the AI it it, it understands uh, the context that you gave it, and it will generate in a coherent and engaging narrative uh, for your speech, and it also uh, do sentiment analysis from the a given data that ensures the speech maintains uh, the desired tone and emotional impact. So analyzing those texts, uh, it will ensure that appropriate conveys joy, warmth, and uh, humor to, to the speech, right? And the last one is iteration and uh, refinement, right? Once you give your data, uh, it will generate a first draft, right? Then after reading that draft, you will give it a feedback uh, to generate um, a refined and improved speech, right? You you might want to change the the tone uh, from humor to sentiment for the for the father of the groom or for the uh, father of the a bride. So you can uh, do feedback looping. Feedback looping. Finally, uh, it's the final touch. That's uh, a personal tweak and uh, a rehearsal to ensure that the speech feels authentic and genuine, um, maybe by including some jokes in the middle of uh, the speech. 
so this is how the AI generates uh, a speech in general, right? Um, you, you, you have been practicing uh, generating the speech. Uh, I saw it on the CBS. Uh, so you just do that following these steps. You give it a data and then uh, it will give you a draft and then you give a feedback and then you do your final touch uh, to the speech. Um, is, is it clear what I'm talking about? Yes, Are there any questions? Yeah. All right, good. Maybe if you can just give us a prompt that will a what? make it funny. Uh, funny. <laughs> um, I really don't have any wedding experience. Uh, <laughs> I it, it's been a long time since I attended a, a wedding. I don't know, maybe when I was a high school. Yeah. So sorry. Say, <laughs> say like you are the best man at the wedding because the best man are the one which are giving out the speeches, right? Yeah. So if just you can give us like a direction on how to prompt chat GPT four to provide uh, the desired effect in the in any in any wedding speech. Yeah. So uh, if I'm a, a best man for the groom, uh, which means I know the groom very well, right? You can't just be a, a best man without knowing the groom, uh, which means I know the the personal uh, <clears throat> uh, interaction with the the bride, maybe how they meet, uh, how they what what they like, how they spend their time. Uh, in the middle of that those uh, journey, there 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 are some stories to tell there, right? And that's what you give the 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 chat GTP or any generative AI, right? And then it will it will give you uh, all those uh, speech, and you can give it the the tone, right? If I'm the best man, um, I, I have to be friendly and funny, right? So you just need to specify those for the AI, and it will give you what you need. Yeah, I hope that makes sense. Yeah, it does. But in, you know, in, the, in in this situation or, or in this challenge, you have to be like a friend of Kanye's. So imagine. <laughs> so you have anyway, to. Uh, act, I get your point. The, the AI, the AI itself might not Kanye. I might know Kanye. And Kim, right? So yeah. Even without without knowing about them, if you ask the chat GTP, it might include something you don't know, right? But the the uh, the approach would be, you have to Google about the two, about the couples and get more information and learn about them, right? Um, yeah. uh, I'm sure it, it's a public knowledge how they, <laughs> how they made, um, there, there, there are a lot of stories, right? So you can use that information to generate the speech. Um, that that would be for the groom and for, for the bride. Who is going to be the best man? Who is going to be the uh, maid of honor, right? And for that, you also need to research about them. And the father's groom, there are a lot of speech in a wedding, right? So, yeah, you you you, you need to do your research. That's what I can say. Uh, are we to write uh, all of those speech or just one speech? Um, I maybe three or four or three. I I think ah. do as much as you can. Um, I, I will show you a website uh, but it's not free but i'm sure there are some uh free websites for uh speech uh, are there any question uh, in the text 
uh, what about euro heading? <laughs> we could repeat euro heading as <laughs> you are always, always funny. Um, what about the content of the speech? If it's expected to have an advice, something like, um, um, as I said, yeah, you need to do your research, Firmosa. Um, yeah. <clears throat> um, no, this is not about me. I'm not going to discuss that. Italia, sorry. <laughs> uh, let's continue. <laughs> Yeah, uh, so uh, tools and platforms, um, there are online speech uh, generators. Um, these two platforms that I mentioned here, they are not free, but you can, uh, I'm sure you can find uh, free ones. Uh, those platforms uh, will uh, give you uh, a speech for different occasions. Uh, and they are user friendly. You just need to fill out uh, a form uh, about the details of the, the couples and it will generate uh, the, the speech, uh, whether if it's for the groom, uh, et cetera. L let me just show you that. Um, I think this is uh, what you call it a speech mate. Uh, it's not free, as I said. Uh, there are speech types. This is the best man. So best man, as I said earlier, has to be funny, emotional, creative, and personal. So you can use these um, concepts for your uh, generation. And uh, the uh, father of the bride, uh, the groom, uh, and the maid of honor, mother of the bride, etc. So basically, uh, there are six, a minimum, I think in a way that, uh, yeah, so uh, you can use those uh, the websites to get an idea. Uh, the, the same for uh, Sonic, you, you just need to fill a form, and it will it will generate uh, the speech. I haven't tried it. Uh, when you sign up, you will have 25 credits. When this is done, it will ask you to up upgrade so try to find uh, or google uh, ai that can generate speech specifically for uh, a wedding um yeah uh, the others is a customized ai solution like uh, gpt4 um this tool will uh, give you more flexible uh uh, and can how the speech is going to be. Because the, the other that I uh, mentioned, like right Sonic, they just ask you to fill a, a form, right? And since I haven't tried it, the, they might have uh, a feedback loop, uh, but in my opinion, they, they will just generate um, after you filling the, the simple form that they provide. However, the uh, OpenAI GPT-4 does give you the flexibility uh, to generate uh, speech. So it integrates uh, with way to plan ups in details about the uh, couple's difference and story. Uh, you know, you are planning the wedding on Trello, right? So sometimes, uh, after you 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 feeding the uh, the details in the uh, Trello app, uh, you might use an AI to generate speech automatically using those data because the, the data element is already in the, the platform on Trello, right? So you can customize, you can try it. Um, yeah, some of the, even the wedding, I mean, the uh, planning apps usually uh, integrates an AI. So we use those AIs uh, to generate the, the speech. Uh, best practice, uh, the first one is uh, you need to personalize the generated um, the speech. 
that means include pattern stories and details that only you know, right? And then you can adjust the tone to match your relationship with a couple or with other parties. And the other one is editing and practicing. That means you need, you need to review and tweak the generated speech to make it your own, right? And then uh, you practice delivering the speech to ensure smooth delivery and emotional uh, resonance uh, during the wedding. And the, the last one in that almost always you need to consider ethical uh, points. That means you have to, sometimes you have to be transparent about using AI if, if appropriate, right? And ensure the speech respects and maintains uh, authenticity. Yeah, this, these are some of the best practices you need to uh, uh, the future of AI in general, not only in uh, speech generation, as the NLP and AI are progressive, progressive, uh, they 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 more sophisticated, and they are uh, capable of understanding and mimicking human patterns, styles of individual speakers, which means. Uh, you can integrate with other technologies, right? Yeah, you heard about the uh, Apple Vision Pro, right? The virtual reality, augmented reality. Uh, you can combine the eyes with uh, AR and VR for immersive uh, speech rehearsal. Uh, if you want to uh, practice your speech, uh, you can combine the uh, VR with the AI, uh, that, that would be the future. And the, the, the application, it's not just uh, generating wedding speech, the AI can as assist in generating speech for various occasions like birthdays, anniversaries, uh, etc. So in conclusion, uh, AI offers a powerful tool for generating uh, personalized, memorable wedding speech, and you have to embrace the technology while adding your personal touch to create a speech that uh, resonates with the couple uh, and audience. Uh, that's it for today. If you have any questions, uh, you are very welcome. Uh, can we use AI to get pickup lines? <laughs> <laughs> um, ask chat gtp it, it will tell you i'm sure it will yeah uh, any questions or concepts that i can clarify is it clear okay all right then we call it for that day. Uh, have a good day, everyone. Bye. Someone has a question. Oh, yeah. Who? Kaflo? That? Kefil. Yeah, you can go on. Uh, I don't see any. No, I don't have any. I don't have any. Thanks. Oh. All right. <laughs> All right. Bye.